Good morning, or good evening, wherever you're listening in the world. You might hear Jasmine, her, you might hear her collar jingling in the background. You also might hear my mother. Um, hey, Jazzy. <laughs> hey, Jazzy. Um, just a little bit of pee-pee this morning, um, not a whole lot. She's on her antibiotics. I'm, I'm praying that she's with me to the rapture. She's, uh, as far as in this world, she's, she's the only companion I have in this world, and, um, you know, even when I'm on my knees praying at night, she's, she, like, stands right next to me. So, um, <laughs> but she will not go out if it's raining, and she will not go out if the grass is cold and wet. I don't know what to tell you. She's sitting here looking at me. I'm on the, I'm on my bed, and she's resting her head on the side of my bed. It, it's raining, baby. I don't, you don't know how to use a potty. She's, she's such a little diva. She, uh, yeah, we have, it's kind of a an ick day today. It um, rained all day yesterday and it's cold this morning and the grass is wet. She won't, she won't go outside and use the body. But thank you for praying for her. I, I do appreciate it. Thank you. I'm going to read uh, Luke 21 verse 28, King James. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. <coughs> That's what we're doing. We're looking up because our redemption draweth nigh. Is it going to happen this year? I pray it does. I pray it does. It's looking like it could, but I'm not going to say 100% because we don't know, but that day is approaching. That's why all this is happening. Especially in this country because this country has been the leader of the world for a while and for them to have the great reset, this one has to fall and this one will fall and this one is falling. Doesn't it amaze you that so many people don't see the clear signs of Jesus' return? Maybe you have family, friends. I have family, I have friends that don't see it, you know. We're blessed. We're blessed that God has blessed us with our eyes open. My daughter's starting to see it. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you. I pray for I pray for all of you every day. I pray for your family. Uh, any if you're ill, ill family members, lost family members, your pets, your finances. I pray for all of you every day. And um Every day that we're here, we got to keep planting those seeds. But time's wrapping up. You accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. Your sins are washed clean. Past, present, and future. <clears throat> now, that doesn't mean we go out and do whatever we want. We have repented. We live for Christ. We don't put our faith and trust in world leaders. And in this country, that's both sides. That's both sides. That's Jasmine's collar. I'm sorry. What are you eating, baby? Okay. That's both sides. The shedding of Jesus' blood washes our sins clean. God sees everybody's heart. God sees who truly want to live for Christ, who love Jesus, who believe in Jesus. And the sacrifice he made for us, the shedding of his blood to wash our sins clean. And you will be rapture ready. And we'll meet at the marriage supper, so remember that. <clears throat> marriage supper. Be at the brownie table. <laughs> this is from Now the End Begins. Now, <coughs> people, a lot of people think that Trump's going to come in, save the day, and life's going to go back to normal. It's not going to happen. This is in doom and gloom because the Bible tells us Luke 21 verse 28 Look up your redemption draws nine. There's no world leader that's going to fix this problem. They are crashing this country intent. They are destroying this country intentionally. They are crashing the world's economy intentionally. And you know what they're going to do? Do you remember? You'll own nothing and love it. They're not calling it the one world, you know what. I don't want a big tag on my video, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it. Hopefully there won't be a tag on my video now. But um yeah, if you ever see those tags, oh conspiracy there I don't put them there, YouTube does. So um yeah. But <clears throat> we know what it is. We know why all this is happening. We know why like what's happening at, at uh my in my state in Texas, what's happening at the border. Um, I'm a few hours from there. I'm nowhere near there. But, um, yeah, it, it's really, it's sickening. It's disturbing. 
I mean, it's an invasion. You know, we got a president who protects the borders in other country, but not his own. I mean, how blind does somebody have to be not to see what's going on? You know, they're crashing the world's economy. And then they're going to usher the, uh, you'll owe nothing and love it. You know, you won't owe anything. You won't have to pay mortgage. You won't have to pay car payment. We're going to give you money to live on. Really? What do I got to do? All you got to do is take a mark in your right hand or forehead. And people that aren't familiar with the Bible and God's word, they're going to fall for it, hook, line, and sinker. In fact, my mother had a, I, I've been praying that she has a, a, a spiritual dream and she had one last night. I can't remember everything she said. She was in a pharmacy and she heard people talking about the mark of the beast. Again, I hope my video isn't labeled now by conspiracy theorists. Um, and somebody was saying, are you going to take it? And I said, no, no. And then she heard, the rapture is very soon. And she woke up. So, um, it's coming. You know, the technology is already here. They want to get everybody so financially destitute that when they dangle that answer in front of everybody, history has shown for censorship reasons, I'm not going to say more than that, but you know what I mean? That when people feel like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place, they are going to stand in line to take something, you know. Will the upcoming Black Swan event crash the economy? Unleash a new uh, pandemic? Or prevent Trump from being president? Now, I've already given you... I, I could be wrong. I could be 100% wrong. Um, I was talking to a brother in Christ um, who's in Sydney. And he agrees. He doesn't think... Uh, but, you know, he, he's not in this country. But he, he doesn't... He, or he agrees. He doesn't think Trump's going to get back in. I don't either. I mean, I that's... I could be wrong, but he doesn't want the one world, you know what, the other one does, you know. Um, I could be wrong, I guess we'll see. We have never seen anything like what the global theater is playing. The air is crackling with end times electricity. Say hello to the black swan. She's a beauty. Have you read the headlines lately? Scan social media or watch the latest um, offerings on Netflix, Prime, or, and Hulu. It is a veritable predictive programming field day. Over the Tucker Carlson show, Ron Paul warned of an upcoming black swan event that will be devastating. And I haven't even mentioned the thousands of illegal aliens the Biden administration allows in every week that are right now storming our southern border. Yeah. He's going to let them both watch. Looks like there may be more than one swan that is about to be released. And what about Trump? What about Israel? Black swans everywhere you look. No. Biden may not come out and say, okay, illegals can vote. But he may, and this is my opinion, he may make it in a way where they can vote, but don't have to show proof that they're citizens, you know. Habakkuk 1 verse 5. Behold ye among the heathen, and regard and wonder marvelously. For I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, though it be told to you. This is a uh, podcast. The uh, new you-know-what, the new you-know-what, I don't want my video to be labeled, has spent the last 12 or so months reloading, and by all accounts are getting ready to take another shot. The current geopolitical climate is supercharged, and red hot, no matter where you look. Israel, Russia, Ukraine, China, American troops in Taiwan, Emmanuel Macron, clamoring for war in Europe. No, despite anywhere you look, in America, the presumptive Republican nominee for President Donald Trump is on the edge of being put out of business, possibly placed behind bars. We have never seen anything like the Global Theater. I'm look at the Global Theater is playing. The air is crackling with end times electricity. This is a podcast if you want to take a listen to it. Um, it says, today we show you some mind-blowing things, hidden things that are actually hidden in plain sight. So, um, 
yeah, it says, uh, End Times author, Dr. Bill Grady, has just released his brand new book, What Must I Do to Be Saved? Um, and it says, uh, it's focused 100% on soul winning. It says that they're giving away a free copy of it with, with every $50 purchase. Yeah. Wow. Um, but how are you rapture ready? You repented and you believe that Jesus is the Son of God who came down from heaven, born of a virgin, lived a sin free life, took on our sin on the cross, suffered, died, and was buried. And on the third day, he's alive. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. The tomb is empty. God sees everybody's heart who truly want to live for Christ. And if you've stumbled, stand back up. God sees everybody's heart. Don't let Satan put any thoughts in your head. Well, look, you stumbled. God's not going to forgive you. That's a lie from the devil. Yes, he will forgive you. Yes, he will forgive you. And he sees your heart. He loves you. Oh, then you won't be rapture ready. It's about to happen. We're all praying it happens this year. I pray it happens this year. I just, it's just mentally and physically drained. You know? That's all I think about. I just, I... I want to go home. You know, I'm so done with this world. I'm done with the evil in this world. I'm done with the evil people in this world. And, you know, it's maybe things that used to interest you. Like, well, there's no movies worth. There, there's a few movies that are good Christian movies. But most movies aren't, you know, they're just worldly movies, if you know what I mean. But bowling, maybe uh, softball, you know, I've... I've literally never played softball but maybe some of you played softball you know Fly, flying a kite things like that you know um all we think about is going home now we don't stop living and just sit in our room waiting for the rapture we got to spend our time praying and planting those seeds because this world's lost and we want is we want people to be raptured with us because the tribulation is going to be utter hell I mean, worse than we can even imagine. We're not appointed to God's wrath. Revelation 3 verse 10 is the clearest indicator that there's a rapture. I mean, throughout the Bible, those deemed worthy escape God's wrath. Why wouldn't he do the same for the bride of Christ? You know? How do we return with Jesus if we're here? You know? But there is a pre trib rapture, and we're all praying it happens this year. But whenever it happens, we will be ready. And remember, we're all meeting at the marriage supper. If there's any more breaking news, I will be back on. Um, I'm not going to go out and deliver till, uh, tonight. Um, I was going to make a video last night, but I just wasn't feeling right last night. Um, I think my body was just saying, slow down, you know. So, um, I love you guys, and you guys mean so much to me. I can't wait to meet all of you guys. It's going to be soon. <coughs> guys, we are going to see Jesus face to face soon. God could have had us be born in any other time in history. It is a blessing that he chose us to be born in this time in history. We're, we're, about, we're about to go home. We're about to see Jesus. It's, like, it's all I think about. I mean, I can't wait. I'm so excited. Um, some of you have um, asked what my, what I believe on pets. Um, I had a dream about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, and in the dream I heard, and your pets will go, either will go to or can go to, I can't remember, but, um, does it say anything in the Bible about pets? No, but God did save one of each under his ark, and he knows we love our pets. I heard one time, salvation isn't for, isn't for animals, well, we were the ones born into sin, you know, and... Animals are innocent. We were born into sin. Jesus, God, loved us so much, he sent his only His only begotten son, that he who believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's how much Jesus loves us. That's how much God loves us. But animals are innocent. I mean, God knows we love our animals. I I, I believe that they're going to be raptured. Anybody who's raptured, I believe their pets are going to be raptured. I, I do. I, I don't think God would leave them behind. He loves them, too. That's just my opinion, you know. Um, but if they're not raptured, God will take care of them. But I, I just, I don't, 
but uh, I don't think they'll be left behind. Our Heavenly Father is a loving Father. He loves us. He loves, he loves the animals, too. It's going to be soon. I love you guys. I can't wait to meet you. God bless you, and I will talk to you soon.